Pocatello softball still undefeated, looking like a real threat to win the 4A state title. But before that, they still need to clinch the district championship, waiting for the winner of Century versus Preston. Century's Libby Evans trying to get the Diamondbacks to the title game. Preston keeping it close. Carly Madsen lines one to the gap in left center field. She is on board with a double. Bumps up to third, and Reagan Hansen is up next. She flies one to left field. It's caught out there. Madsen tags and puts Preston on the board in the fourth inning. Century Entry in the lead, though, thanks in part to defense like this. Tess Ramirez fielding the bunt, throw on time to first for the out. They're up four to one. And here's the cherry on top. In the sixth inning, Libby Evans, hard line drive to left field, gets over the fence. Sentry takes down Preston and moves on. The Thunder ready for the challenge in the title game. Mia Lusk in the circle doing what she does, striking out a Diamondback early on in this one. Allie Evans doing the same on the other side, keeping Pokey in check early on. There's a strikeout. You're tied at zero. Taylor Rogers comes up to bat for the Thunder. She barrels one to center field. Almost an incredible catch out there, but instead it's extra bases. Rogers into second with the double. Then it's McKinley Hill's turn. Grounder to the right-hand side, finds the outfield grass. Rogers coming around from second. She scores for the game's first run. Not done yet, Kirsten Kent to the same spot to score a couple more. Pokey stays undefeated, and they are headed to the 4A state tournament. Staying in softball, district champions crowned in 5A in the 4A High Country Conference. Thunder Ridge taking down Highland, but falling in the championship game to Rigby. The Trojans punch their ticket to the state tournament. In 4A, Hillcrest with a gutsy win over Skyline for a rematch against Blackfoot, but the Broncos hold on. They'll play for a 4A state title. Over in baseball, Bonneville wins the decisive Game 3 over Blackfoot. They'll both be in the 4A state tournament at the College of Southern Idaho. And in 3A, a state play-in game today, South Fremont shuts down Snake River, living to see another day.